Greetings and welcome to the Data Amari. Welcome to this Mastering Python Strings tutorial. In programming, strings are essential data types used to store and manipulate text. Therefore, in this tutorial, we will cover the fundamentals of Python strings. If you are new to programming, this tutorial will provide you with the knowledge and skills to use Python strings effectively in your projects. So let's uh, get started. We are talking about Python uh, strings. When we talk about Python strings, the study objective of uh, this tutorial is to understand the basic concepts of Python strings and how they work. We also seek to learn how to manipulate strings using built-in Python method. Talking about our study objectives, we also seek to be able to identify and use different string objects and their associated uh, methods. We also seek to be able to create and use functions that work with strings. And uh, another study objective is to be able to effectively debug issues related to strings. The study outcome uh, of uh, this tutorial is that at the end of this study, we should be able to create powerful and efficient programs using strings should be able to format text, create patterns, and even encrypt data with strings. So to help us explain what our study outcome is, let us uh, go into the things that we are going to learn in this tutorial. Remember, this is just an introduction. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll not be writing code. They'll, we'll be writing code in the upcoming tutorial. This is just an introduction to Python, uh, to Python strings. And one of the sources, one of the very important sources for any beginner to learn this uh, Python documentation, you can find it at www.docs.python.org. And under Python documentation, we are uh, learning about strings. And uh, when talking about strings, it categorizes strings as text sequence type. And uh, already even the documentation itself defines what a string object is. It says that in Python programming language, textual data in Python is handled with string object, objects or strings. And it defines what a string is in Python programming language. And it says that strings are immutable sequences of Unicode code points. String literals are written in a variety of ways. And remember, this is just an introduction. And in subsequent uh, tutorials, we'll see how to write strings. But definitely, uh, as, a, as, a, as a quick mention, he says that to write Python strings, uh, you can either write uh, using single quotes, double quotes, or triple quotes. So uh, the variety of ways of uh, writing, of, uh, writing uh, strings or of creating uh, Python strings in Python programming language is by enclosing textual data uh, between single quotes is by enclosing textual data between double quotes and is by enclosing textual data between triple quotes. We'll use that. We'll look at the different uh, use cases of uh, single quotes, double quotes, and triple quotes. So this is the Python documentation. You can always, this should be under, under your pillow. Very important for, for beginners when we are learning Python programming language. So this is one of the resources that we'll use a lot when we'll be learning about uh, Python strings. But... Because this is just an introduction, whereby we'll not be writing code, we'll be writing code in the subsequent tutorials, let us talk about the things that you're going to learn. And the things that we we'll learn in this tutorial should be also form part of our learning outcome that by the end of this, you should be able to do the things that we are going to mention here. So if you're a beginner who is learning Python programming language, and you have come to the point whereby now you're learning about uh, strings, or Python strings as one of the data types, common data types in Python programming language. One of the things that you should know and that we are going to learn is creating strings. How do we create strings? And we get that, as we already mentioned from the documentation, is that in Python, you have the option to create strings by enclosing text with either single quotes or double quotes. And you have seen also triple quotes. And we'll be getting into that when we, when we will be writing code. Another thing that we will learn is assessing characters or what we call string indexing or slicing. 
and we get that indexing or slicing will allow you or will show you how to obtain specific characters within a string. So if you're learning Python strings, other than just knowing how to create strings, you should also be able to know about string indexing and slicing. Another thing that we learn, which should also form a part of our learning uh, outcome, is string concatenation. Another thing that we will learn is string concatenation. And uh, we get that in Python programming language, you have the option of combining strings either by utilizing the plus operator or through the implementation of the plus followed by equal uh, operator. So this is another operator and we learn how to use them when it comes to string concatenation in this tutorial. We'll also look at string methods and this is whereby the Python documentation comes in handy. We'll show you how to get uh, the string methods when working with uh, Python uh, strings. So we learn about string methods and we know that Python offers an extensive array of pre-installed string methods that can be utilized to handle strings such as uh, upper, lower, strip, replace and numerous others. Don't worry if you don't understand this, this is just an introduction, but we'll be getting into the code in subsequent uh, in the subsequent tutorials. We'll also be looking at string formatting and we know that in uh, Python offers several approaches for string formatting such as utilizing uh, the format technique and the F uh, strings. Another thing that we'll be covering in this uh, series of uh, mastering Python strings is that we'll be looking at escape sequences and we know that special characters known as uh, special characters, sorry, uh, escape sequences, we'll be looking at escape sequences and we know that special characters known as escape sequences enable the representation of characters in a string that would otherwise be challenging to express such as quotes, new lines and tabs. And you don't worry if you don't understand this, we'll be getting into more, more into this when we'll be writing code. Another thing that we will uh, learn about in, in this series of mastering Python strings is string operations. And uh, Python offers a variety of operators that can be utilized to conduct actions on strings, including but not limited to comparison operators, membership operators, and logical operators. And uh, we have talked about uh, escape sequences. That uh, basically means how to use escape characters for special characters such as quotation marks. We'll also, at the end of this, is that you'll be able to create powerful and efficient programs using strings you'll be able to create powerful and efficient programs using strings and uh, you'll be able to format and uh, create patterns and even encrypt data with strings and that, that now will be at the very advanced levels. But at the very fundamental levels, at least by the end of this course, you should, uh, at the end of this uh, tutorial, should be know, you should know how to create strings, assess, uh, uh, assessing characters, string concatenation, string methods, string formatting, uh, escape, sequences, string operations, and uh, much more of the fundamental stuff that we are going to look at. Now, among these issues, among these things that we are going to learn, some of them form some of the advantages of Python strings. Some of them form some of the advantages of Python strings. So, also, it's essential for you in this introduction part, it's essential for you to know what are the advantages or what are the pros or what are the are the what are the strengths of uh, Python strings? So one of the advantages of Python strings is that they are util utilized extensively across various domains, and they serve uh, purposes like preserving and modifying textual information, indicating identities, locations, and other types of data that can be conveyed as text. Again, another advantage of Python strings is that Python offers an extensive an extensive range of string methods. And remember, we have we have mentioned this is where you will see the importance of understanding the Python programming language documentation because most of the methods will, will refer from the documentation. And we find that Python offers an extensive range of string methods that facilitate the manipulation and handling of strings in diverse ways. And these methods, we'll, we'll see them when we'll be writing code. These methods simplify the execution of routine tasks such as changing strings to uppercase or lowercase, substituting 
substrings and segmenting strings into lists and when we'll be writing code you'll understand when do we need or why do we need to change uh, strings into uppercase or into lowercase or which situations will warrant us to change a string to uppercase or to lowercase we'll be getting to that when we'll be writing code this is just an introduction to mastering python strings now another advantage of python strings is that strings are immutable meaning they cannot be altered once they are created and this provides reassurance that the value of a string will not change unexpectedly these characteristics can prove advantageous in specific scenarios since it en ensures that the string's value remains constant and predictable so note that it might prove it might prove advantageous in specific scenarios so that's another advantage of python strings as we'll be going through mastering python strings you'll get to see uh, these things that we are talking about again another advantage of python strings is that python includes includes uh, inbuilt uh, this should have read inbuilt python includes inbuilt support for strings which means that uh, python includes inbuilt support for strings eliminating the need to import external libraries or modules to manipulate them now this simplifies working with strings and streams line, streamlines your code's complexity making it simpler to begin working with strings and these are some of the issues that contribute to python as a high level programming language being a language that is that is that is easy to to learn and that it is easy to uh, to to understand so uh, again another advantage of python is that python offers a succinct or a precise syntax for generating and manipulating strings rendering it effortless to compose and comprehend code that handles strings and since we have advantages we also have some disadvantages and as you can note there are there are quite few we have some disadvantages of working with python strings so for any 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 person who is getting into python programming language having known the advantages of working with python strings there are some of the disadvantages of of python strings is that when working with substantial amounts of text strings may not be the most efficient option if for example you need to execute numerous string operations like substituting substrings or dividing the string into several substrings it can be sluggish and require significant resources another disadvantage of working with python strings representing complex data structures like lists or dictionaries using strings can pose a challenge now in such situations it will be more effective to use an alternative data type like a list or a dictionary to accurately capture the data and you'll get that as we'll be getting deeper into our python programming language tutorials you'll get that it is better and it and that's why here we say that it's more effective to use a uh, uh, data types like list or a dictionary compared to using strings uh, to represent complex data structures like lists or dictionaries now we have looked at the at the things that we are going to learn we have looked at the advantages of python strings we have looked at the disadvantages of python strings now where is it where are python strings applied as a beginner who is getting into the python programming language you might ask yourself now where will i apply this this knowledge other than just understanding python programming language where will i understand uh, where will i apply python uh, strings and that's why application of python strings is another important thing in this tutorial on mastering python strings series now python strings when it comes to application it is used in web development and we know that python is a popular language for web development and developers use python strings to dynamically create html css and javascript code mm -hmm. uh, again uh, another thing is that another application of python strings another application of python strings uh, is uh, data analysis is data analysis and in data analysis strings are frequently used to store text based data like customer feedback social media posts or product descriptions python strings are useful for data cleaning normalization and processing to extract insights don't worry if you don't get this you will get it as we uh, get into writing writing code and then we, as we get into the more advanced segments of uh, python programming language tutorial 
Now, another application of Python strings or the industry use case scenarios, how you'll use them uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the work field, is that Python strings are used for natural language processing, NLP. And we know that NLP is a subfield of AI, AI or artificial intelligence that involves processing and analyzing human language. So Python strings are crucial in language uh, process, uh, in natural language processing. And this is where here, and this is where you talk about things like tokenization. And you'll, you'll get more into this if you choose to follow uh, the data science path or the AI path you'll get to understand what natural language processing is. But now we are just mentioning as bullet points some of the application of Python strings in the, in the, in the industry. Now, where, so we were saying that Python strings are crucial in natural language processing where they are used to store and manipulate text, dust, text data, including text classification, sentiment analysis, and, uh, and named entity recognition. Now, another use case scenario of uh, Python strings is automation, and Python strings are widely used in automation tasks to process and manipulate file paths, automate email sending, and generate reports. Again, it can be used in scientific computing, uh, where strings are used to store and process related scientific uh, research. For instance, scientists may use Python strings to store DNA sequences, chemical structures, or astronomical data so already when you are looking at the at the documentation we mentioned what a python string is but we'll get more into this and understand what a python string is this is just an introduction but we'll be getting into the coding section but if you are a beginner this just introduces you to what we are going to learn in this mastering python strings uh, series and uh, we get that uh, Though we had mentioned it, let us just mention again, is that what is a Python string? In Python, a string is a sequence of characters, no more, no less. And in Python, anything inside quotation marks is referred to as a string. And we saw from the documentation that it can be single quotation marks or double quotation marks. And again, strings may also be created from other objects using string constructor. So when we'll be getting into deeper into this tutorial, we, these are some of the things that we'll see. So for a beginner, these are some of the things that you need to understand when you are learning about uh, when you are learning Python programming language and when you, you are specifically learning about Python strings, which we know is a data type, which we know is a data type in Python programming language, as we had mentioned before. So thank you for watching the tutorial. We hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. And if you want to stay up to date with our upcoming Mastering Python Strings tutorial, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing in Mastering Python Python Strings. So if you like this tutorial, also don't forget to give, uh, to give uh, it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or colleagues who might find it useful. And we also welcome your feedback, comments, and suggestions for future tutorials. If you want to learn more about mastering python strings be sure to check out our other videos or visit our twitter account data amari for more resources and information so thank you again for your support and we look forward to seeing you in our next video when we'll now be writing code so you have a blessed day